Welcome back everyone. This is chapter 21. We are going to learn about unbound cache only DNS server. You can see how to configure a unbound cache only DNS server in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. And this can be applied for CentOS 7. Before in RHEL 6, we use bind package to configure a cache only server or a DNS master and slave servers. But in it's a additional option we have got in rel 7 it's unbound let us search the package m search unbound at now i have not installed this package so let us get the information about more information about the unbound package it's showing the validating recursive and caching server unbound info yum info unbound so it's showing that i am getting from a local repository and now it's not installed and some of the description below it's showing what the use of unbound and uh, how it's developed some of the informations let us see how to configure step by step it's very easier it's not a hard work to configure a cache only DNS server using unbound let me install the package now yum install unbound and hyphen y we can use it's a mistake that let me clear it I am yes The package unbound has been installed with three dependencies packages ldns lib even and unbound libs the package has been installed completed now let me list the configuration file it's under etc unbound unbound.conf configuration file will be under etc and once we install some of the commands will be enabled for using the unbound we can see the unbound check conf is there so we can check the configuration files if there is any error once we configured it let us see how to configure now it's not a big deal to configure it only the four steps we want to remember let me edit and show you vim i am using vim etc bound and unbound.conf first of all we need to check for the ip address the interface where it's listening here we are going to use any ips if we have uh, multiple interfaces i want to use the interface 0.0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0. If I have a only one interface, but here I have only one interface, I'm not going to specific use the specific IP 172.16.152.133. I'm going to configure it set to listen in all the interface. If I add a multiple interface, I can use that this feature. So I'm going to uncommand the interface 0000 so that the unbound can be listened using all the interfaces. The query will become through those interfaces. For security reason, we can limit the interfaces if we have multiple. And next one, the access control. Which domain want to get the query from this DNS cache server? For that, I am uncommanding the access control and refuse the change the refuse to allow so that every network from every domain. Uh, in this range or uh, any other range they can use these yeah, they can use this DNS cache only server so let me add one for example 172.16.152.0 this network can access this server if I if I want to uh, 
restrict that network not to get the cache information from the server I can replace it with a refuse so that we can restrict the query through this DNS cache only server for a specific network this is two the two second step this is first is interface and the second one is access and the third one is forward if some of the query if someone was uh, query uh, putting a query to access the yahoo.com and they can't able to reach through this server so what will this server do this server can't give the information about the yahoo.com so that it will forward to any one of the ip to get those information for that we need to uncommand the three lines forward zone name and the forward host let me copy the three lines forward zone let me copy the three lines and paste below and command these three lines first okay and in the name I'm going to use dot dot means a root server the query you want to pass to the root server there are 13 root servers in the whole world if you are going to see the internet world there are 13 root servers we can talk about this later when we are talking uh, when we are going to learn about a great explanation about DNS and I have replaced the uh, example.org with dot the dot means its root server there are 13 root servers and whenever this server can't be able to resolve any cache it want to be the information the query want to be forward to 8.8.8 I am giving a Google IP here so that the Google DNS server IP so that if a query from a client can't be resolved by this server will be forwarded to 8.8.8.8 this is the use of the forward uh, lookup in this cache only then next one is domain in circle the domain in circle if you, you want if I want to uh, restrict the using some domain I want to restrict some of the domain using a key I can uh, use this option uh, for this we need to create a key file and we need to restrict those uh, domains so let me talk about this in a uh, in a separate chapter we are going to learn in a separate chapter uh, how to configure a DNS catch only server with a full option there are many options available let me see it later and next one search for do ipv4 whether the protocol uh, ipv4 and ipv6 want to be enabled uh, let me choose uh, we are using ipv6 in uh, rel7 so i'm going to enable the ipv4 and ipv7 both once this done these are the configuration only of uh, five uh, configuration changes we need to do in the unbound.conf uh, if we do the do TCP and uh, do UDP it's showing that disable UDP to avoid being used in DNS amplification attacks there is a attack DNS uh, attack will be if we use the UDP uh, so it, it, we need to secure the server very well if not it will be attacked by some of the hackers so it's safe to not enable the UDP, UDP. okay this have, has been let me save I have saved and quite the configuration file now let us check the status of the service system CTL status unbound it's showing it's not a disabled in not a enabled and it's inactive let me enable it system CTL enable unbound so that it will be started while the system boots up it's changed to enable now now the service will be activated once the ser uh, server boots up 
and the uh, service is still inactive i am going to start it systemctl start unbar let me check the status now uh, the active the active and it's running the status was active and running and the service was enabled while the server boots up and we can see some of the information the info start of service unbound was successful and it's running for last some few seconds and there is a unbound configuration chip it's showing the forward warning uh, and one more thing we can use unbound check count before starting we can execute this command and we can check whether there is a error or not in the configuration file it is the unbound unbound dot com it's showing just a warning for the uh, forward lookup uh, i have given for a for the lookup of the uh, root directory uh, root server sorry the root server is dot and in the second line we can see there is no errors in the unbound dot configuration configuration by following we can see how to resolve this uh, whether this dns catch is resolving or not let me check for using the check uh, for, a, for, for a check we can use the command drill i have ex executed the drill yahoo.com the query has been successful my catch was working and uh, google.com i am going to drill the google.com i am getting the reply uh, let me try the root just type the drill i am getting the reply from the 13 root server these are the 13 root servers in the whole world in the internet in coming chapter we are going to learn about the firewall d and what the use of firewall d how to configure it please subscribe to our channel and keep on watching please uh, click the above link to subscribe and please give you will provide your any commands in the below the comment section and let us know the feedback from you thank you thank you for watching